Hi, Michael Schechter from abettermess.com, and today we're going to talk about how to take a small idea and expand it into something a little bit larger. When an idea strikes, I'll jump into NVAlt and open that file up in ByWord. I'm not going to make you suffer through me writing an entire piece, so let's just quickly pretend like magic that I wrote this entire piece right in front of your eyes. What we're going to do from here is we're going to copy everything, and we're going to take it and move our file over into a new Scrivener document. Okay, so I'm going to jump into launch bar, open up a brand new document, quickly give it a name we like. In this case, I'm going to go with uh, Scrivener to iThoughts. And once we're in our document, what we're going to want to do is jump into the untitled note and draft and paste everything in. Then we're going to go section by section and hit Command K to break it up into separate notes and rename each note as we go. This way we're giving our document a little bit of structure and making it easier for what's to come next. We're going to move through this and once we're ready, we're going to have the basic structure for our outline. As you can see from the draft, it gives you everything on what they call the cork board. I prefer to do this in iThoughts HD on my iPad. So we're going to go and export an OPML file. This will be a format that uh, can easily be imported into iThoughts HD on the iPad. Make sure the titles and text is selected at the bottom and give your OPML file a name. Then just export it to Dropbox. From here we're going to close out Scrivener and we're going to go and jump into iThoughts HD on the iPad. So we're going to look past the adorably distracting child and go select iThoughts HD. We're going to select the action button and then hit copy from cloud. Go to Dropbox, navigate to Maps, and then just find the OPML file. When you click this and hit Download, you'll see your mind map when you go to your new documents. And there you have it. There's your map. Now the first thing I like to do is go get rid of drafts. I don't need it, and I'm not going to want it when I import back into Scrivener. So the easiest thing to do is just knock it out. And from here, if you click on each section and then pull down the tab at the top, You'll see that the text you wrote in Scrivener is actually here for reference. So if this is a much bigger file, this really comes in handy. From there, it's really simple. Just jump in and start expanding. You can move things around, or really what I want to do here, because this isn't really a file I would do this for, is just flesh out the last section, create all the areas where I think I'd want this to be. And once I've gotten this to a place where I feel like I'm done and it's ready to go back into Scrivener, we're going to go jump back up to our Actions tab, but this time we're going to select Send Map to Cloud. From there, jump back into Dropbox, make sure OPML is chosen, and hit Choose Folder. You should be in the same file, the folder, so just hit Use This Folder and overwrite your original document. Upload it back to Dropbox, and we are ready to head out of our iPad and jump back into Scrivener. So we're going to go back into our previous document. And what we want to do from here is first take the original text and go and delete it. And as you'll see when you do this, it's not gone, it's just going to jump into the trash at the bottom. So you can always get it back. Now we're going to select Draft, go up to File, hit Import, go to Files, and we're going to find our OPML outline in Dropbox and bring it back in. It'll ask you to import it, and as you can see, everything's there with our original text and our new work at the bottom. You can even expand this out and you'll see all the little nodes we created on our uh, mind map. From here it's pretty straightforward. Uh, you can jump back into the entire draft or just one of the new sections you've created and start writing. From there you're good to go and work on your document. And that's how you can take a small idea and flesh it out using Scrivener on the Mac and iThoughts HD on the iPad. To learn more, visit abettermess.com.